Hi, my beautiful Aries. It is V. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, or Aries Rising. Also, if you have uh, Venus or Mars in Aries in your needle chart, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get started on your astrological alignments. Okay, well, before we do that, um, I just want to let all of you know that um, I will be doing personal readings for purchase probably around the middle of June to the end of June, okay? When I am on hiatus, which I am on right now, um, I do not answer my work phone, nor do I answer emails. So please just be aware of that, okay? The other thing is I am going to be launching a new YouTube channel called Wine and She with B. This is going to be a subscription channel, and it's basically about the price of a cup of coffee, and um, it's a monthly subscription, and it's going to have a lot of stuff in there. Now, some of those items are going to also have an additional purchase, depending upon how much time it takes for me to do that. But I am planning on having like weeklies on there, um, you know, uh, planetary uh, movements as well, um, especially with the, the larger planets. I'm also doing my leadership series on there and possibly also live chat. So if this is something you are interested in and you would like to support me with that, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, the other thing, is that I'm not going to be posting the extended readings for purchase on Gumroad this time around. And the reason why that is, is because I have been on vacation, I have been traveling all over the place, and so now I'm trying to get everything, you know, centered and get all these videos out and so on and so forth. And also, I will probably be going into work later on today in my full-time job because I have been gone for a very uh, long time and I've got some things I've got to catch up on uh, there. All right, so Aries, let's go ahead and let's get started on your astrological alignments. The sun, Aries, is in your third house of siblings, short distance travel, contracts, negotiations, communication, social media. There's a lot of um, focus in this particular area of your life as well as um, other people's focus is on this area of your life, please make sure you move it more towards the positive side as opposed to the negative side. You want to put your best foot forward in these particular areas because this is where you have a lot of, uh, a lot of energy, you have a lot of chutzpah, you have a lot of, you know, get her done type of attitude. So get her done Aries. You, if anybody can get her done, it's an Aries, okay? So on June 7th, we do have Mercury going into Gemini, but currently it is in Taurus. And for you with Mercury in Taurus, this is in your second house of the money made from the company you work for, the money made from the business you own, your self-value. I am sensing for a lot of you Aries out there, you are either asking for a raise or you are asking for more responsibility at work. Uh, you are trying to determine where it is that your value lies, what it is that your value brings to a corporation, to a family unit, to anything that it is that you are putting your efforts into. And when it is in Taurus, this has a lot to do with material gain, material things, luxury, things that are tactile, things that you can feel, all right? So this is what's going on for you at the present time. And for some reason, Aries, right now, the money that you earn or that you you gather or that you save has a direct uh, impact on your self-value right now. It's okay, Aries. It's not being superficial. It's just getting paid what you're worth, all right? Then we have on June 7th moving into Gemini. So with Mercury in Gemini, Mercury is exalted in Gemini because it is rulership with Gemini. This is in your third house of siblings, short distance travel, communications, uh, social media, uh, all of those things. So there's a lot of communications about short distance travel. You might be going to and fro uh, to certain locations, different locations. Uh, for others of you, this is where you've got a lot of communication, a lot of social media communication, a lot of communication uh, as it relates to scholarly articles, as it relates to um, 
I don't know why I got magazines, um, something about a magazine subscription. I don't know what that means, but that may mean something to some of you. Um, and the other thing is that there's a lot of communication here. There's a lot of movement. There's a lot of activity in this particular area of your life. Put your best foot forward as always, Aries. Then we have on June 5th, Mars moving into Cancer, but currently it is in Gemini. And with Mars in Gemini, there's a lot of aggression and passion, potentially towards a Gemini in person, or a Gemini in person is very aggressive and passionate towards you. Um, this is in your third house, like I said, communications, contracts, negotiations, short distance travel, siblings, those types of things. So there is a lot of aggression. There's a lot of passion in this particular area of your life. And then when Mars moves into your fourth house of Cancer, and Cancer rules the fourth house. So this is what's so great about Aries is that the house where the planets reside is the actual placement of the houses in your solar chart. So in this particular case, you have a lot of aggression and or passion as it relates to where you live, how you live, your ancestry, your physical domicile. There could be maybe potentially for some of you Aries out there a lot of aggression in the home. Um, a little bit more towards the passionate side as opposed to the aggressive side. That is definitely the way to utilize this energy. And then on June 7th, we now have Venus moving into Taurus, but currently it is in Aries. Now, Venus in Aries, um, while you may be getting a lot of attention from other people, you are in the receptive mode at the present time. Venus does not particularly like being in Aries because it's way too um, fiery. And Venus likes earthly things. Venus likes watery things. Venus is a emotional sign. She's a, she loves romance. She loves materialistic things. She likes to just drown herself in luxury. And for you, when it is in Aries, of course, it is in your first house of identity. So you could be looking really good to other people. You have a glow about you. You are in the receptive mode. People are really trying to, um, you know, support you in many areas of your life. Small financial gain as well as it relates to your identity. So for some of you Aries, if you're an actor or an actress or um, um, somebody who performs in any way, and many of us, we perform every day. But in this particular case, you are being lauded for what it is you bring to the table. And then Venus moves into your second house of Taurus for your self-value, for the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. I'm definitely sensing for some of you Aries, you are getting a raise or you are getting promoted in some way, shape, or form. Now the full moon is in Sagittarius on June 9th. And for you, this is in your ninth house of le legal law, um, people politica, foreign people, foreign lands, the occult. So in this particular situation, uh, there is something culminating, climaxing, or coming to an end as it relates to these aspects of your life. The new moon is in Cancer on June 23rd, and for you, this is in your fourth house. There is something beginning as it relates to your home. You could be adding on to your home. You could be renovating your home. You could be looking at your ancestry for whatever reason. I just heard for some of you, you have um, a genetic predisposition to something. And so you're really focused on that right now. This could be a genetic predisposition to having a long life in your family. Maybe your, your, your grandmother, your grandfather lived to be 103. And so this is something that you're kind of planning for. For others of you, you might have a situation where you are um, predisposed to a certain illness as well. So you are now taking uh, appropriate actions to ensure that your health is um, uh, above board, to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Uh, this also has to do with the occult. So for some of you Aries out there, you are being more open to the occult, to psychic abilities, to your intuitive abilities, to recognizing and appreciating that which cannot be seen. Then we have, um, oh, I'm sorry, that was in your full moon area. I'm going back and forth. So for some of you Aries, um, you are volleying back and forth 
between something. You could be looking at uh, travel for some reason as it relates to your home. I, I don't know what that means, but this could be where you have a significant uh, number of people in your family that are traveling at the present time. Maybe your child is traveling, maybe they're traveling to go to college or they're in university or they're moving for whatever reason. Or for some of you, this could be you traveling a lot and you have to negotiate and you have to communicate and you have to uh, find the balance between you know, you being at home and you being away from home. That just came up. So for some of you, this this new beginning in your house of the in your fourth house of Cancer could potentially have something to do with a Cancerian person in your life um, needing you to travel or relocate for some reason, um, or this could be a Cancerian person in your life that is traveling a lot. And it allows you to feel a little bit more, I don't know why, but it, it, it's coming up like, it's like when they're gone, for some reason, it's like you can be more yourself. I, I don't know what that means, but that is going to make sense to some of you. But again, the full moon in Sagittarius, there could be a, um, a beginning, an ending, or a culmination, or a climax as it relates to a Sagittarian in your life. And with the new moon, you might be starting a new beginning with a Cancerian person in your life as well. So let's go ahead and let's get started, Aries, on your uh, tarot reading. So what do we have going on for the general energies for Aries? General energies for Aries. General energies for Aries. There's your general energies. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life, Aries? Work life and financial life. Work life and financial life for Aries. Work life and financial life. There's your work life and financial life. What do we have going on for your emotional life and love life, Aries? There's your emotional life and love life. And what do we have going on for your health and well-being for Aries? There's your health and well-being. And what do we have going on for your Archangel Guidance? Archangel Guidance for Aries. Archangel Guidance. There's your Archangel Guidance, Aries. All right, Aries, what do we have going on for your general energies for the month of June of 2017? Aries, uh, in the month of June of 2017, you have the High Priestess. This card is generally ruled by Aquarius and or Pisces. The reason why this is is because it is a two, and February is the second month of the year, and it also has to do with partnerships. Aries, there might be a partnership that you are embarking on that is a secret partnership. Uh, you're keeping it on the DL. You are uh, looking at this as someone who is quite magnetic in your life. Uh, this person's name could begin with the letters B or J, so please just be aware of that. Uh, Aries, this person is, like I said, is very magnetic towards you or they are very mag magnetically drawn to you. Um, there is a black and white type of thing. It's almost like you need to you need to get to the truth of a situation that could be going on for some of you Aries out there. Uh, this could be a partnership at work. This could be a partnership in love. This could be a partnership in family life as well. Um, there are things that are hidden at the present time, but it does not appear that they are being hidden in a negative sense. It is that you have to protect. I'm getting protection. I'm getting um, protect yourself, protect others. Somebody's protecting you. Somebody is certainly supporting you at the present time. So there could be something going on with that. For others of you, um, this could be psychic abilities as well. So for some of you Aries out there, there there's definite psychic abilities around you. Uh, Somebody is being more psychic than usual or uh, psychic messages are coming towards you either from you or from someone else. But overall, this is really beautiful energy. You're kind of keeping your cards close to your chest. Um, there's something going on about something that is secret or something that is hidden. But I'm sensing for some of you, it is almost as though you want to release yourself from this particular type of situation. You want to release yourself from the secret. You want to release yourself from um, this particular type of energy. 
and you want to go out there, you want to be seen, you want to be shown, you want to be um, celebrated, and you want to celebrate others that you care about and that you love. So this could s certainly be something going on for some of you Aries out there. There is something significant that could be happening right after the new moon. And the new moon, of course, is on the, um, let me see here, the 23rd. So right around the 25th or the 26th, uh, there is going to be some type of secret that is revealed about either about you, Aries, or about somebody in your life. Somebody might be coming up to you and revealing a secret. Uh, it could be in confidence or it could be where somebody is just letting you know how they feel about you or letting or you are letting them know how you feel about them there could be something going on about that um, but there is a need to find the balance there is a need to look at the black and white of a situation there is a need to be realistic about a situation as well so what do we have going on as it relates to your work life and your financial life in your work life and your financial life you do have the tower so for some of you Aries out there you are um, deciding to uh, fire some people from your business or there could be a massive reorganization of your particular department or your organization as a general theme. For others of you Aries out there, there could be something going on with electricity in the home. Um, electricity issues might be causing some significant um, problems, <laughs> you know, as it relates to your finances. So you might have to, you know, you might have to um, get your electrical box up to code. That could be. For others of you Aries out there, please be careful when you are walking at work, when you are moving from one place to another, you could trip, you could fall, you could witness somebody tripping and falling. For other Aries out there, there could be um, a situation where there is uh, potentially, I'm sensing for some of you, like a car accident or some sort of fall from a great height and you need to, um, assess this particular situation, whether it be you doing it or, uh, or whether it be happening to you or whether it's happening to somebody else. But there is something going on here where you are having to, um, I, I just heard burns. So there might be um, a situation where there was a fire and there, were, um, there was burning of some sort or somebody, maybe you burned yourself on a stove or maybe somebody um, got burned in a fire or something like that. Now you're going to have to assess this. Now you're going to have to look at this. Now you're going to have to see how you're going to move forward with this. That could be going on for some of you out there. For other areas out there, you could be throwing somebody out of your home. Somebody could be throwing you out of the home. Um, but for some of you areas out there, this could be where maybe, and I believe this came up for, um, who did this come up? This came up for another sign. But I will tell you what I told the other sign because the same message is coming through. Maybe Aries, in this particular case, you've always been used to being um, on top. You've been used to um, being the leader, being the, uh, uh, the, the go-to person, the person in charge. But what's happening here is that, as we all know, leadership requires um, not only should we ourselves be leaders, but we should allow others to be leaders within their own strengths. So this could be where you are teaching somebody how to be a leader, you're, you're talking about leadership for whatever reason. Um, this could be with a reorganization. Okay, maybe you're being put in a leadership position and you're taking the top spot. That could be, or somebody else is taking the top spot and you're, you're assessing this and you're looking at this and you're saying, okay, how can this person be a leader? Somebody around you is moving up, okay? You could be moving up, but somebody I'm sensing for about like 60% of you, there's somebody that you love that dearly that is moving way, way up. Like their, their income is increasing. Their responsibility is increasing. They, they really have a good handle on what their strengths are and they are moving forward with that. So please just be aware of that. For others of you out there, um, uh, because of a reorganization, Maybe you are getting a job promotion on the DL. Maybe this is something that's happening behind the scenes. All right, that could be. Or for some of you, somebody else gets promoted, but they were already slated for the position, but they had to go through the, you know, the interview process and so on and so forth, but the choice had already been made. So please just be aware of that energy, Aries. Um, 
if some of you if if any of you are building a home or you are building a building or whatever there could be something happening right now where there could be a workers comp uh, because you've tripped and you've fallen or something happens maybe you get electrocuted at work I don't, I'm not sensing that this is anything bad I'm sensing that it just is what it is and there could be something going on right now where um, you really need to look at um, you know uh, the, Connectivity is what I'm hearing, connectivity. But somebody in a leadership position is stepping down and you might be taking their place or somebody around you might be taking their place and you are being informed to ensure that this person is successful or you yourself are successful. For others of you Aries out there, there's something hidden about a home. Um, you need to do your research. Um, I am sensing that um, it could be related to electricity. Um, there could be an electrical short. Uh, for some of you, you are in the electrical field, so maybe you are an electrician. Uh, maybe you deal with connectivity in some sh way, shape, or form. For others of you, I am sensing that something may potentially be happening in your home where you are literally exiting the home like quickly. It's like a fire drill or something like that. Or it could be where something happens within the home where you are leading it quickly for whatever reason. Uh, there's something coming up here. I'm not quite sure what this is, but whatever it is, is faded because we now have two major arcana cards in your reading and this is designating faded events. So please, please, please be aware of that. Uh, this could be for some of you, I, I just heard um, you're playing hide-and-seek with your kids and you know you've got that like when you play hide-and-seek you know you've got that that safe zone like if you touch you know the kitchen refrigerator you're safe I mean you got to your goal but amongst all of that hide-and-seek and going down the stairs and and you know quickly going from place one place to another somebody's falling down the stairs somebody's something's happening here so please be careful Aries um, in your life uh, as it relates to this as well so what do we have going on as it relates to your emotional life and your love life, Aries? Aries, for emotional life and love life, you do have the Two of Cups. This is quite beautiful. Uh, Aries, there is a friendship that is really turning into something more. There could, and this might be this might be blowing your mind. You, you this might have been um, a relationship that was on the DL. Maybe it was a relationship that was hidden. Um, maybe it's still hidden. But you're looking at this relationship and you're saying, you know what, I want to move forward with this. I think it's time for us to really celebrate one another in public, to be with one another, to celebrate one another, to support one another. Uh, this could be for some of you, you are unexpectedly getting proposed to. Uh, this could certainly be, this has been a secret for a long time. Other people around you have known about it, but you didn't know about it. Um, this could be also a partnership that you were not aware of. Your boss could be coming to you and saying, you know what, we want you for this position. We want you for this leadership position. We want you to be in this position because we know that you can handle it. We know that you can make sense out of chaos. We know that you can keep a secret when we ask you to keep a secret. This is beautiful. This could be related to the medical field. Uh, this could also be related to anything medical. Uh, this could be um, psychology, psychiatry, um, any clinical type of background at all. There is some sort of partnership that is happening here. You could be partnershipping with somebody at work. Um, so just please be aware of that. Uh, when it does come to the medical field as well, um, there could be, like I said, there could be something going on with a an, an eyewitness. So there could be an eyewitness um, as it relates to something that happened at work, as it relates to um, a, a workers' comp situation. That could be. Uh, maybe you are secretly giving information or somebody secretly giving you information as well. But overall, as it relates to your emotional life and love life, you have partnership with your family, you have partnership with your loved one, you have partnership with a significant other. You are going to move forward in a relationship with someone else or someone is going to move forward in a partnership with you. Beautiful energies. Like I said, could be marriage, could be an engagement. Um, it could be going from a single status to exclusive status. Could be, um, could be you contacting somebody and saying, you know, I want to take you, maybe it's been hidden 
and you're contacting somebody and you're saying, I want to take you out for drinks, I want to take you out for dinner, and there are a bunch of people that see you, but you really don't care anymore because, Aries, you've been sacrificing for other people so much. You've been trying to keep your rep, so to speak, in a certain um, way, and now it's kind of like you're, you're in a situation where um, you're done with it. You're saying, you know, I live now or I don't live. And it's time for you to live, Aries. It's time for you to live. So beautiful, beautiful energies for you at the present time. Um, and it's very unexpected. It's very, uh, the, the, these things, it's, it's like it even surprises you that you are doing this. So please just be aware of that. So what do we have going on? And this could be, like I said, this could be related to a Pisces or an Aquarius person. So what do we have going on? And this, for some of you Aries, a small percentage of you Aries, you are undergoing a divorce. And it's almost like right when the divorce is final, you get into another relationship with someone that has been your friend for a very long time that is not, you know, you may have had your problems, you may have had your difficulties, you may have yelled at one another, you may have, but I think more than anything, the reason why these negative things have been coming up, these arguments, these debates have been coming up between you and someone else is because um, they were hidden or, or you were hidden. And this is not something that you tolerate and it's definitely not something that the other person tolerates. But because of this, this is now, um, now that the divorce is final or something like that, now you can just really be yourself. You can celebrate one another and those arguments are gone because you know you really get along with this person because you've been friends for such a long time. Um, they always come back. Um, they always support you. They always protect you. And when I say they protect you, they keep your secrets close to their chest. They don't, um, they don't uh, announce your secrets out into the world. So if this is applying to you, this is definitely somebody that you can trust. Um, and if you're deciding to go into a relationship with them, definitely somebody you can trust. All right, so please just be aware of that, Aries. So what do we have going on? Some of you might be also celebrating a second honeymoon. Um, and it is a surprise. You've been keeping it secret. And this could be a trip going somewhere else. And this person, they're just blown away by, uh, by the, the mere act of an Aries. And Aries, come on. You guys generally focus on self. You're all about yourself. You're all about your own um, movement forward, your own movement upward. And at times, and you're still very loving. You're still very kind. You're still very forward thinking but um, sometimes you, you can be selfish. And that's neither bad, good, right, wrong, or indifferent. It just is what it is. But you are really putting somebody else um, in the front lines and you are basically saying to them, I'm gonna celebrate you now. So this could be what's going on for some of you Aries out there. So what do we have going on for your general health and well-being? For your general health and well-being, we do have the King of Cups. This is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio person. So the Pisces is definitely coming up here right now, Aries. You could be divorcing a Pisces or you could be getting in a relationship with a Pisces. For some of you Aries, you could be divorcing a Pisces and getting in a relationship with another Pisces. That could be. Um, but it could also be a Cancer or a Scorpio or this could have um, significant um, um, impact on you as it relates to maybe maybe you've got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Mars. It could be that as well. But you are really going through something right now, Aries. Um, it could be something that's causing a lot of tumultuous um, feelings behind you. This is where I picked up that there might be some hereditary conditions that you have, um, you have inherited from your family, and it's a predisposition, say, for example, to cancer, a predisposition to heart attack, a predisposition to stroke, a predisposition to da -da 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 -da, go on and on and on and you know about this, but you're being very quiet about it. There's something you're hiding from uh, some people. You may be ready to reveal this. You may be ready to reveal, this is my condition. This is what I'm dealing with. This is what I need to do. And it's causing a lot of in inner turmoil, but you're being really cool, calm, and collected on the outside, Aries. So please just be aware of that. Uh, for some of you Aries out there, there could be something as it relates to health uh, regarding water. Okay, so there could be water issues in your home. There could be water issues around you. Uh, again, it, it could be somebody of the water sign of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, this could also be where this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is uh, being very calm, cool, and collected, even though their emotions are really turning around on the inside as well. 
Um, this could also be you um, in a leadership position as well. Maybe you own your own business or you're thinking about uh, starting your own business. This might be something where, you know, for some of you with the tower in your uh, financial sector and your work sector, you might be getting let go, but you are probably getting a severance package. And this might be on the DL for whatever reason, but you are ready to start your own business. You're ready to partnership with somebody, but you're doing this on the DL. There's something about secrets. There's something about keeping things on the DL. Um, but this King of Cups, uh, definitely as it relates to health, could, you might be undergoing some water retention. There might be water issues in your home as well. Mold could be a specific uh, situation where you know you need to have people come in and look at um, potential mold issues in a home as well. But there could definitely be uh, something going on here uh, as it relates to water. Maybe you've got a vacation home. Maybe you're gonna sell your vacation home if it's near water or you're gonna renovate um, this uh, home as it relates uh, to being around water as well. For some of you, you have rented out your home, um, your vacation home, so to speak, and basically what's happening here is somebody tried to cover something up and you're, you're deciding I'm no longer going to rent. I'm throwing these people out. That this, is, this is too much hassle. We are just going to keep the home. And we are going to use it for um, our needs. And when it's not in use, we're just going to close her down and, and that nobody's going to rent. So that could be what's going on for some of you Aries out there. So what do we have going on as it relates to your Archangel Guidance? Leadership. All right, Archangel Gabrielle, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. This is exactly what I was getting here. For some of you, Aries, if you are leaving your job, you are mentoring somebody to take your position. For others of you, Aries, out there, you are being mentored to take a leadership position. Uh, this leadership, remember, leadership goes both ways. A leader is only as strong as the people in which that leader serves. So if you make others leaders, underneath you, you then in turn become a great leader. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy to have around you. Uh, take this energy for what it is worth. You are in a leadership position, whether you like it or not. Aries, you might be stepping down and that's fine, but your goal is to ensure that those that take your place are going to be those that have leadership capabilities and you are going to ensure that that is the case. All right, Aries, I hope that this reading helped you out in some way. Um, the only caveat here, as far as any warnings go, is definitely that tower card with work, workers comp, throwing somebody out, um, throwing somebody out of the house, somebody throwing you out of the house, somebody throwing you out of work, um, a uh, reorganization at work. Please be aware of that. This might be something that has been happening on the DL up to this point. There could be partnerships going on. Um, you know, uh, behind closed doors, so on and so forth, and you're hearing about it or you're hearing about the secret. And for some of you, you are unexpectedly proposing to somebody or somebody's unexpectedly proposing to you. Um, and it is causing a little bit of turmoil um, in your person or it could be causing turmoil uh, in the other person as well. But you definitely have some aspects regarding an Aquarius, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio in your life. All right, I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.